In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the use of the Quick Profile Transition tool. This tool is used to define the profile of an element by matching the slope and elevation of adjoining elements. You can see here in my 2D view that I have just a very simple intersection. Um, I have a main line here and a side road here, and I have offset from the center line my edges of pavement. So what I want to do is create a curb return here in the area of this intersection. And you can also note in 3D view that since these features are displayed, they do have profiles associated with them. So if we just take a look here, each of these horizontal geometry elements do have active profiles assigned. So the first step in creating this curve return is going to be to use the command simple arc. So I'm just going to go in and create a curve return with a radius of 30. And I'll give that the name curve return and I'll assign a feature definition to that. I'm prompted to locate my first element. So I'll locate the left edge of pavement of this main line. Locate the second element will be the right edge of pavement of the side road. I'll accept the radius of 30, and I want to trim and extend both. So you can see the display update in the 3D view, and the curb return itself is not displayed, and that's because it doesn't have a profile associated with it. So there's a very useful tool located in the Civil Tools under Vertical Geometry, and this is called Quick Profile Transition. And what that will allow me to do is to quickly create a transition between these two elements along this curve return. So I'll select the command and I'm prompted to choose my method. I can choose either linear or parabolic. I'll choose parabolic. Locate what to define, so that will be the curve return. And you can see as soon as I click that, the curve return displays in the 3D view. And if I take a look at that in profile view, You can see I have had a profile created. And furthermore, you can take a look at the intersection and, and you can just verify here using this command profile intersection point. I am prompted to locate the element to show intersection, so that'll be the curve return. And locate the element which intersects, so that's good. And I can select this one as well. So you can see that I have a, created a profile that intersects with these two and transitions parabolically between the elements.